Thanks again for watching. Adam Daniel Mazze is my name, your familiar video blogger. This is episode 238. Now, contrary to popular appearances, I do occasionally like to spiff myself up. I guess I'm a bit on a mission to make myself as unappealing as possible. Hence the beard. And I'm sorry, it was way too bright today. I wanted to go sunglassless, but I can't. It's way too bright. The sun's just beating over from that side, and it's going to make me squint and make me look dumb. Dumber than I already look. So thanks again for being here. Now, something that came up to me last night as I was sitting with a long-lost friend at a bar, we were just kind of like having a chat and comparing experiences. He's one of my friends from back in the day. I'll call it the... um. Hmm. the urban days, you know, when we used to basically compare battle stories and such, and, you know, now he's got four kids and stuff like that, and he's, you know, he's kind of not married anymore, but he's kind of settling down into a very domesticated lifestyle, but, you know, we started talking about our past experiences in the dating department, in the opposite gender department, and we started having, you know, a good laugh about things, of course, completely without any alcohol, it was just kind of cranberry and grapefruit juice, coffee combinations, and some other little vittles and things that were going on at the table. But the funny thing was, you know, we both came to the conclusion, this is not like a novelty, um, but we both came to the conclusion that guys are completely oblivious with respect to what girls do when they're alone. So if you're a good screw, if you're a good fuck, if you're a good lay, then girls are going to go and tell their friends that you're a good lay. If you're a lousy lay, on the converse, they're going to let them know that too. Guys think that all of these details are going to be kept amongst ourselves. Guys think that all of these details are going to be kept on the QT, but they're not. They don't really understand the fundamental nature of how, let's say, the feminine psyche likes to operate, which is not necessarily from a standpoint of gloating, just from a standpoint of community, of you know collectivity, bringing everybody into the circle and making the events and, you know, the various undulations in your life apparent to a wider circle of, of people. It's astonishing. It astonishes me how guys think that, you know, what they do exists in a vacuum. I repeat, if you're a good fuck, girls will let their girlfriends know, and quickly. If you are a lame duck in the sack, if when you close that door and the lights go down, if that is your preference, you are not a wolfman jack in the sack, they will let their friends know that as well. And I pity the fool who doesn't realize that. Now again, contrary to popular appearances, um, because I do sport the beard, and of course there are some vestiges of my existing self, yes, as a user of chronic hair product, B, you know, the fact that I do occasionally have a fashionista side, and three, that it is against my gene code as a male homo sapiens uh, to actually, you know, make myself completely repugnant. Contrary to that, I do have some experience with this, and I speak from experience, and we were just sharing a chuckle as we, you know, compared battle stories across the table, and it was uncanny, my friend's about five, six years older than me, but still, it was uncanny to, like, go over those those experiences and to realize some of the doozies, the really bad ones, not just from, let's say, horizontal or vertical lambada situations, but just from, you know, interactions with girls where it did not necessarily go down in a positive way or things that we had done with other women that did not necessarily transpire properly. We had like a really good chuckle, like a knee slapper smack the table, high five across the table, very loud voice kind of exchange. Um, it was uncanny to see the similarities. It's good to talk with a fellow warrior, a road warrior, a guy who um, has been through the ringer and who's got his fair share of, um, you know, of uh, sorting experience, let's say, S-W-O-R-D-I-N-G experience. And I really enjoyed that. It was nice to reminisce. And guys, do all these things at your peril. If you do not understand the feminine psyche, you will get screwed. Have respect. Deliver, of course, all the time. And if you boast, you better deliver. And if you talk about it, you better be a complete colossus in that department. Otherwise, you are getting yourself into position for a world of hell. A whole hot world of hell. That's today's social science experiment, number four in a week of social science experiments. As the beard continues to grow, oh yes but the hair product will continue to stay in. Wishing you and yours and every little person in your little circle of influence the very best of things.